Okay, uh, load is, uh, could have been more full, but I ran out of material and it wasn't a lot of bottles, but I did get bottles, so it was good. But I've seen, I've seen more bottles other places, but it was, I got my share. I need to get, get all this, uh, emptied. I need to do a dirty aluminum run. Not what I'm hoping to do, but let's see. Pretty good for bottles, actually. Whatever bottles I got was good. You know, I wasn't really looking for bottles, but it got kind of slow, and I said, you know, I'm seeing bottles, I'm taking them. It worked out pretty good. I got a dice in here, it works. Seems, seems to work. I don't know how good, but the battery battery's um, on, works so. Marble bottles too. The Thomas the Train. I kind of calculated. I think around twenty to twenty-five dollars in bottles, but there's more in the back here. I, I started to put them wherever. So, uh, it was pretty good actually. Um, if I brought the big van, I could have, you know, took, you know, other stuff, but, uh, you know, you, you kind of want this is stuff that adds up fast, money wise, right? You don't want, you don't want the other stuff that doesn't add up. It's a nice bike here I want to take, take out too. Super nice bike. Right here, I don't know, it looked pretty good in the dark, but everything looks good in the dark. So we're gonna try to get a dirty load ready. Problems everything is so crammed in here. said there was more tires and wheels there he saw today but not worth going out there most is picked up already and but there is a little bit of stuff out there This was like seven dollars. This bag. There's a little more here. I wonder why this seems so heavy. This one's got concrete in it. Concrete dirt, I guess. Well, they're pretty heavy pipes, then. So 
So not bad for bottles, considering. That vacuum. A charger too. I think it's pretty charged too. But I think I need the stem for mine at home. Life has tape on it, so parts anyways. Outside. Just crammed them in wherever I could. You know, between all the gaps and stuff. It's hard to make a video at nighttime when you got a crappy light. It seems that one side of my light bulb light is not that great. When I put new batteries in, it still doesn't look that great. It seems to be more dim or something. Taking from that side out, seems like yeah, that's one more cans here too. So I thought, I think we got lots of cans on this side. But I thought there was close to twenty-five dollars. Yeah, I have access to all corners. Imagine taking everything out the side door only. That's what makes it so hard. It takes a long time too. Well, I got some pots and pans here too. Gosta, Gostina, Gostina. But I got lots of wire in here. I'm kind of the only guy that was grabbing uh, <coughs> pressure washers and stuff. <coughs> I found so many uh, weed eaters, pressure washers. It's really not much value, but I can sell it dirty, so that's where my value is. But I'll take it apart, it's probably not worth it. So I want to start doing some scrap runs right away. Because this weekend. Is uh, the next one. And it's a good area. It's a big area too, and it's gonna last for quite a while because um, people start putting stuff on the weekend. So Saturday, Sunday, Monday, 
Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday and Thursday's pickup, so it's so much better. Like this is super heavy. That's what we want, stuff like this. I get about 18 pound mortar in there. have a built-in battery we'll look into it after these are all aluminum here track lighting but it's heavy microwave stinks like rotted food or something a lot to cut a lot of cords yesterday Some guys just cut cords only and they make tons and tons of money. It's got a mortar in this one, a battery. A little more bottles here. I figured around 25 bucks, so I do have a few. I found lots of these drives, DVD drives. Yeah, about half a dozen. Nice looking bike. Infinity, crazy horse. It's a nice shape. So all these go together. Okay, so you've pretty well seen most of the stuff. This 
same same as I normally get. All that kind of crap is the same. I'm actually happy it did pretty good in the models. Probably paid for most most of my gas. Okay, so I'm gonna keep on loading here. And then I'm gonna hopefully I can load a load of aluminum like this stuff. Three o'clock closes at uh, four thirty. The workout is taking this all, all out. You know, stuff like this. So clean here. This one's got a spring on it, so I'll sell the spring. It's all dirty. Let me uh, keep going. So, um, it's most of my dirties there. Uh, got a door there, no gate. That's all, all stainless steel. Pots and pans there. Tires and wheels. Two tires up on top still. That's my wire. Four microwaves. Five. Five microwaves. Um, quite a few bottles. So uh, I, it's a little bit kind of late to go. If I load up here, uh, it only gives a half an hour for them to uh, organize. So I'm, I think I'm gonna do, give up, take my bottles first, get them out of there. And then I'm gonna start cutting these wires or separating them anyways, get them into buckets so I can do scrap on tomorrow. And then by that time I can sort out some aluminum tomorrow and do a couple loads there, right? I got a star there fire extinguisher and so I got bottles here it was actually pretty good for bottles and I wasn't really trying for bottles but I would if I saw them I would take them I think there's some bottles in that van too I think that's all the glass a dozen there I think bag there bag here so not really that bad considering okay so I'm like I say I'm gonna get some wire ready but I'm gonna first do that I get rid of all this glass count them and I get I need another I think four more containers and I can do a glass run and I'll free up all this area and then like I say I'll I get scrap ready I'll be back and forth it's lots of dirty there, the whole big pile is dirty. Lots of lawnmowers there. Lots of tires and wheels, I did really good. So many. Okay, hold on. We'll get this ready here and we'll do, this, we'll do the bottle run. Okay. Okay, 885 bottles there. 19 containers, one's kind of small. You should do 18, but I did one because one was kind of half size. Should be uh, 85 bucks freeze up that area and then I can sort those soon uh, you know depends on you know what today right um, I definitely want to do a dirty pile tomorrow and I want to do some of my wire because right now copper's high that's the kind of stuff you want to get rid of right away high price stuff okay we'll dump this off okay so that was uh Okay, it was eight eighty-four dollars and fifty cents for eight hundred forty-five. Got this bottle while I'm here. Or this good for ten cents. Cleans up the environment too, so which is nice. I 
seen a couple things uh, on the way, so I'm gonna go back there and see if I can find them. Okay, hold on, free stuff here. Curtains, free. Take the printer. Wires. Hello. The printer. The microwave. No. Oh yeah. Okay, I take it then. Thank you. A new pillow. We'll see about that. Give it to Joe. Yeah, that's a good one. Give it to Joe. Joe can probably use it. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is, uh, once I get a new van, I'm going to give Joe the other white van. You can have it. That's why he's kind of, uh, wife said just give it to Joe. So I think that's a good idea. And I think Joe can do, since he's kind of homeless, living in his van, he can park that in some industrial area and have it so he can live in there. You can put a couch in there. You can even put a wood burning stove in there. And that could be a, a base where he goes to bed all the time, somewhere where it's a safe location to park it. A lot of people do that now, so. You know, if he has to move it, he can move it. It's still a drive, right? But I'm not putting no more money. I'm not doing no distributor or nothing. I made up my mind. I'm gonna cut that lift off. Uh, spring clean up. I, I, I don't want no lift there, so. Get that lift, maybe get, see if Ken can give me a hand on that. Cut that off and get it out there. Anyways, uh, we're looking at, well, like I say, people say electric's not good, but I mean, that's pretty soon though, it's gonna be all electric, right? But the diesels are pretty expensive if you look at the diesel, but the mileage is all not that great. It seems like I see mileage better on older diesels. The newer ones are just got too much pollution and stuff and environmental stuff where the mileage you're losing two, 300 kilometers. But one guy said he got a thousand kilometers on his. For $150 so. but it's 10 years old it's understandable the old ones don't have all those weird things now they're kind of really uh, complicated have all sorts of weird sensors and different things but I mean a good one's gonna cost about a hundred thousand so but you know I want to have a trailer hitch on it so I can get a tow trailer if I'm doing these big things like this I can put appliances on there and stuff. Here's a fan right here now. This is stuff I've seen. So I'll pick that fan up. My one and only fan right there. Okay. I think we're going to call the video here because uh, there's so many things i got to do now and I don't run this too long because it takes too long to edit. No, well, edit it's no problem. It, what it is is loading it. Hours and hours for loading. More of a headache to be honest. Okay, you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.